Continuing our series on digital board game tips, we've once again teamed up with publisher Asmodee to bring you a few pointers on Indian market trading game Jaipur. If you want to gain a trade monopoly in the region, follow these five tips. Trade in quantity. You can sell an item on the marketplace when you have two or more of a particular card. However, trade three of any item and you'll get a bonus of three points on top of your profit. This goes all the way up to a five point bonus for a five card trade. Though it's not always possible to trade this big, these bonuses really make it worth holding out for that third card. Trade early. The cash tokens on the left hand side tell you how much each correspondingly coloured card is worth. But look a little closer and you'll see that the top tokens in each stack are actually worth more than the ones beneath. For example, the first T card traded is worth 5 points, which is the standard trading price of silver. This means the person who trades each type of card first gets the best price for their wares. So, Get in early before the market is saturated and get those points. Never underestimate a camel. Camels may seem like a dud card, but they can carry you to victory. They let you grab multiple cards of the same colour simultaneously, up to and including the number of camels you have in your deck. This is great when you need to swipe a load of valuable cards off the table before your opponent picks them up. Also, like with Cult Express's Gunslinger reward, the person with the most camels at the end of the game gets a 5 point bonus, which could be the difference between winning and losing. Disrupt the other player. Apart from the blind hand your opponent is dealt at the beginning of the game, you can see what cards the other merchant is grabbing. Watch what they're taking from the pile and then use this info to disrupt their stockpiling and prevent them from getting big trade bonuses. If you know they've got two diamond and a diamond appears on the table, consider grabbing it to stop them making big trades and big bucks. And finally, cards are worthless if the game is over. A round of the game is over when three piles of tokens have been cleared. However, it can be quite easy to get caught up in the game, not notice the end is only one trade away, and then lose while holding a stack of valuable cards you were saving for later. So, if two stacks of tokens have vanished and a third is nearly gone, sell those cards quick before the market closes. Those extra points might be enough to give you the game. If you have any tidbits of advice for Jaipur, then chuck them in the comments below this video. And be sure to subscribe for tips, plus iOS and Android news, reviews and videos. Thank you for watching, see you next time.